Well, hey friends, good day to you. Hey, today I have my, my hand weights here. I'm needing to do some strengthening of my wrist since my hand operations. And so I have my weights and I've been working on that and I've been doing some power lifting. Now, some of you have done power lifting already. Now, this isn't really power lifting. These aren't that heavy of a weight, but it makes me think about power, power, power or strength. Now, what do you know about things that make power? What, 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 let's see, when we talk about powerful things, what do you think of? Well, engines, for sure. Yep, car engines, truck engines, they make power. Um, the wind, the wind is powerful. It can blow really. Water, that's right, water can make power. Um, we use water to make electricity, and we know that if there are flooding waters, that can create a lot of damage, so that's power. Muscle, muscle in our arms and legs and in our bodies helped us to make power and to be strong. Well, there's also another word that I think of when I think of power and that's horsepower. So I got to put my hat on here and bring my friendly horse in here. Yep, horsepower. Now, how many of you have heard the word horsepower? Yeah, have you ever been confused about what horsepower actually means? I have. And so I've done a little bit of reading and I want to share with you some of the things I've found out about horsepower. Horsepower is a reference to a measurement of mechanical power, like an engine produces, or the rate at which work is done. Now, here's some, some statistics and figures that might not make sense to some of us, but others might find it very interesting. One horsepower equals 33,000 feet of pounds of work per minute. That's the pressure. And that's the amount of power necessary to raise 33,000 pounds, a distance of one foot in one minute. So in order to lift something or to move something, there are measurements called horsepower. Now this term, horsepower, was adopted in the late 18th century by an engineer by the name of James Watt. And it was meant to compare the output of steam engines to the power of draft horses. And it was later expanded to include the output power of any type of machinery, piston engines, turbines, electric motors, and things like that. So the question is, <clears throat> is horsepower really the power of a horse? It's a common misconception that one horsepower is equal to the peak power production of one horse. One horse is actually capable of making a maximum of around 14 0.9 horsepower, almost 15 horsepower. By comparison, a human being is capable of approximately five horsepower at peak power production. Wow. So a, a horse can, one horse can create at a time 15 horsepower. So when we do one horsepower equals one horse, that's not really right. Um, athletes, Athletes can do up to 1.2 horsepower per 15 seconds. Those are like extreme athletes. The regular human being is able to put out just a little bit more than a single horsepower, up to five horsepower at five peak. Okay, all those figures, but I hope that helps you understand that one horsepower is not equal to what we say the car engines can produce, or the truck engines, or the tractor engines. I'm still learning about what horsepower means. What I do know is that I am not the most powerful person in the world. Yeah, especially as I get older, I notice that my strength is not what it used to be. I don't have the horsepower strength that I used to have. However, I know that there is more to being strong and what I can do that makes me who I am. For I am a person, and I hope you are too, who relies on God for strength. And we live in God's strength. You know, there's a song, My Strength Comes from the Lord. Well, there's a Bible verse too, Psalm 28, 7. The Lord gives me strength. He is like a shield that keeps me safe. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. You know, some of my horsepower these days is produced because God is giving me strength. Isaiah 40, verse 29 says, He gives strength to those who are tired. He gives power to those who are weak. Now, God's strength isn't the kind that's always going to help us lift weights, is it? No, but it is the kind of strength that helps us live life, that helps us face each day with confidence. 
with knowing that he is with us and he helps us. He gives us horsepower. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all of this by the power of Christ, for he gives me strength. That's right. Our strength comes from the Lord. So today, count on God's strength. Don't depend on your own strength. We get weaker as the days go by, but God remains our strong Lord and God. Live in him today. Have a day filled with joy, a day filled with peace and horsepower. Ugh.